Uh, well, thanks for your attendance, guys. Uh, we'll update the squad of 25 later, but uh, we've got a few un injury updates for you. We had Max Mailings and uh, Rafi Quirk come into camp with injuries, so they've been rehabbing but won't be considered for selection for the Tongan game, but we're hopeful they're going to be fitter further down the track. And Lewis Liner came in a bit beaten up from his game against Saracen, so he's been out to train with us. We've got two other niggles that we're not sure whether the players are going to be available to be selected, but we're, we're still optimistic, cautiously optimistic that Marcus and, and Freddie Stewart have both got minor leg injuries, but we're, we're again, cautiously optimistic they'll be right to play for the game or available for selection for the game against Tonga. Had a really good preparation. Uh, Jersey was a good week. We did a little bit of togetherness stuff at the start. And then had three good days of training. We've had two great days of training here. So, yeah, we're looking forward to playing in front of 82,000 people at Twickenham on, on Saturday uh, against uh, what we know is going to be a tough and physical Tongan side. So uh, happy to take any questions, guys. Thanks, Eddie. Duncan, we'll come to you first, please. Afternoon, Eddie. How much training has, has Marcus been able to do this week? Uh, he hasn't done much this week, mate, just a bit of ball handling. But, yeah, we're, we're being uh, conservative with him. But we're, we're, as I said, cautiously optimistic he'll be right to play, mate. Sure. And when, when would you make a call on that? Uh, well, for, uh, the last call we make is 48 hours before the game. OK. So you've added Lewis Liner to your, your, your squad. What was the thinking in there in adding an additional person? Uh, well, just with, with Max... Unavailable because of the injury brought into camp. Uh, we just thought we needed additional cover. Um, but unfortunately, Lewis is injured as well. Uh, we, we were hopefully he was going to recover, but uh, he hasn't been able to train today. So it's been a difficult situation for the young lad. Do you have disruptive as these injuries been to your preparations for Tonga? No, it's all part and parcel of preparing a, an international team. Um, yeah, we've been able to adapt and and uh, and keep training at, at the intensity we need to for the for the tests against Tonga. Sure, you up at Murrayfield on Saturday, where you were watching the Tongans. What was your assessment of their of their performance? It was a bit of a tough day for them. Oh, it was a tough day for them, but uh, we know they've brought nine new players in the squad, all of most of which play in in the top level in, in France. So they'll add some, some starch and stability to a Tongan side that we know will play with plenty of pride at, at Twickenham. Stuff. Um, and, and just with, with Marcus, I'm sure you're desperate to have a look at him, especially alongside Owen. You mentioned that on TV the other night. Is that then frustrating? You've not been able to get them together too much in training? Well, we're not desperate. Um, we're never desperate, mate. Um, but we're keen, keen for him to be involved in the game. Um, it's not frustrating. It's, it's part and parcel of preparing a team and, uh, you know, players pick up small knocks and he'll recover well. And if we don't get to see him this week, we'll get to see him next week. And did you mention Rafi Quirk was out of this weekend or struggling? Uh, yeah, he hasn't been able to train. He came in with a, a knee injury. Um, but we're hopeful again he'll be available for the Australian game. And Harry Randall's out for the... For the, the month. So yeah. that means Alex Mitchell kind of in line to debut on Saturday? Yeah, no, he's a, he's a good chance to have an opportunity on Saturday. Are you, aside from the number of injuries you've just reported on there, how, how pleased are you with the build up towards this, uh, this Auto Nation series, given you've come in with, you've got new staff, you've got a number of new players involved, etc. How, how do you think everything is melded all together for ahead of these games? Yeah, no, really good, mate. Really positive. We had a good positive week in Jersey. Yeah, we've, it's quite an interesting squad. Yeah, we've got 14 players from the 2019 World Cup squad and then obviously 17, 18, 19 players who are probably all under 10 caps. So we've got you know, quite an experienced group and, and then this young breed of, of what's going to be New England and, and the excitement of putting those two groups together is, uh, is high. Um, yeah, we tried to do a lot of things in Jersey to give them opportunities to to share experiences, which they did well. And, and now the training's been of a really high quality. Okay, you mentioned excitement there. Can you elaborate maybe on your own excitement for what the group can, has, has the potential to go on and achieve? Yeah, well, there's very few times that in the national level you get to rebuild a side, a team a second time. And I've got the opportunity personally to do that and bringing these young players through. And at the same time, 
you know, trying to get the, the best out of the experienced players is, is, a, is a very good challenge. And, you know, the expectation at the international level is that you never drop off. So we've got to be, make sure we can, we can blend the team as quickly as we can to, to put in the sort of performances we want to see.